There's a type of leukemia found in a person's blood or bone marrow which affects older people. Now, in the past, the treatment may have been worse than the disease. But in tonight's More Tomorrows Together, CTV's Michelle Gerwing shows us just how far care has come. Uh, J is for my, uh, my eldest granddaughter, Jolie. Each letter on this necklace represents one of Estelle Suris's grandchildren, a gift for her 85th birthday. She recently spent the special day on a Zoom call with her family. That was made possible, I feel, through cancer care. For three years now, Suris has been living with chronic lymphocytic leukemia, or CLL. She only started treatment a few months ago. I feel fortunate that I'm feeling quite well and keeping up an active lifestyle in terms of trying to exercise even during these cold winter days. CLL is often diagnosed later in life. It progresses slowly and there is no cure. Even 10 years ago, cancer care clinician scientist Dr. Versha Banerjee says the only treatment was chemotherapy, and it was typically only offered to younger patients. Sometimes there's this perception that just because someone may be older that um, they have this diagnosis, there's not much we can do for them, but I'm here to say that it's exactly the opposite. Dr. Banerjee has been enrolling Manitoba patients into clinical trials for targeted CLL treatments. People's blood counts um, and their lymph nodes shrink before our eyes within two to four weeks with some these novel treatments. Patients just have to take pills, which are safer and more tolerable than chemo. After years of research, she says these medications are now the first line standard of care. Thanks to the Cancer Care Manitoba Foundation who supports clinical trials and our donors that provide funding and donations, um, we're able to have a very strong clinical trials unit. Estelle says the results from her targeted therapy have been dramatic. My white blood cell count um, went down dramatically and it's in the normal range now and so is my hemoglobin. Meaning she has more tomorrows left to spend with her grandchildren she can't see in person today. Michelle Gerwing, CTV News, Winnipeg. About 100 Manitobans are diagnosed with CLL every year. More Tomorrows Together is brought to you by Cancer Care Manitoba Foundation.